because I should not have worn this dress. <laughs> so, luckily, I brought an outfit change.、Um, this is the first outfit change on the TED stage, so you guys are pretty lucky to witness it. I think.、Um, if some of the women were really horrified when I came out, you don't have to tell me now, but I'll find out later on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'd also note that I'm quite privileged to be able to transform what you think of me、um, in a very brief 10 seconds. Not everybody gets to do that. These heels are very uncomfortable, so good thing I wasn't going to wear them. The worst part is putting this sweater over my head because that's when you all laugh at me. So don't do anything while it's over my head. All right. So why did I do that? That was awkward.、Um, <laughs> well, <laughs>、um, hopefully not as awkward as that picture.、Uh, <laughs> image is powerful,、um, but also, image is superficial. I just totally transformed what you thought of me in six seconds. And in, in this picture, I had actually never had a boyfriend in real life.、Um, I was totally uncomfortable, and the photographer was telling me to arch my back and put my hand in that guy's hair.、Um, and of course, barring surgery、um, or the fake tan that I got two days ago for work,、um, there's very little that we can do to transform how we look. And how we look, though it is superficial and immutable, has a huge impact on our lives. When I first learned that no one could ever love me more than me, a world of happiness previously unseen was discovered. Because somewhere along the line of aging and scrutiny and time, I was taught to despise myself. But I made sure I kept myself beautiful so someone would love me someday, so I could belong to someone someday. Because that's the most important thing a little girl could ever want, right? I was 13 the first time I was embarrassed about my body. Of course, it would not be the last. And I remember stuffing my bra in the morning, tears stinging my eyes, hoping, praying to something that I could look beautiful enough today, braces and all, for the ruthless boys who mercilessly told me I was worthless because my boobs weren't big enough. And I would go. When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, "What will I be?" Will I be pretty? Will I be pretty? Will I be pretty? What comes next? <laughs> oh right. Will I be rich? Which is almost pretty, depending on where you shop. And the pretty question infects from conception, passing blood and breath into cells. The word hangs from our mothers' hearts in a shrill fluorescent floodlight of worry. Will I be wanted, worthy, pretty? But. Puberty left me this funhouse mirror dryad, teeth set at science fiction angles, crooked nose, face donkey long, and pockmarked where the hormones went. Finger painting my poor mother. How could this happen? You'll have porcelain skin as soon as we can see a dermatologist. You sucked your thumb. That's why your teeth look like that. You were hit in the face with a frisbee when you were six. Otherwise, your nose would have been just fine. Don't worry. We'll get it all. Fixed, she would say, grasping my face, twisting it this way, then that, as though it were a cabbage she might buy. <laughs> But this is not about her. Not her fault. She too was raised to believe the greatest asset she could bestow upon her awkward little girl was a marketable facade. By 16, I was pickled with ointments, medications, peroxides, teeth corralled into steel prongs, laying in a hospital bed, face packed with gauze, cushioning the brand new nose the surgeon had carved. Belly gorged on two pints of my own blood I had swallowed under anesthesia, and every convulsive twist of my gut, like my body screaming at me from the inside out, "What did you let them do to you?" All the while, this. Never-ending chorus droning on and on like the IV needle dripping liquid beauty into my blood. Will I be pretty? Will I be pretty like my mother unwinding the gift wrap to reveal the bouquet of daughter her ten thousand dollars bought her? Pretty, pretty. And now I have not seen my own face in ten years. I have not seen my own face in ten years. But this is not about me.
this is about. The self-mutilating circus we have painted ourselves clowns in, about women who will prowl 30 stores and six malls to find the right cocktail dress, but who haven't a clue where to find fulfillment or how to wear joy, wandering through life shackled to a shopping bag beneath the tyranny of those two pretty syllables about men wallowing on bar stools, drearily practicing attraction, and everyone who will drift home tonight crestfallen because not enough strangers found you suitably fuckable. This, this is about my own someday daughter when you approach me, already stung, stained with insecurity, begging, Mom, will I be pretty? Will I be pretty? I will wipe that question from your mouth like cheap lipstick and answer, no! The word pretty is unworthy.